How is a decontamination hose made? A. Soak a standard hose in disinfectant. B. Weld new sections together using metal rods. C. Cut damaged hose, attach regulator ends, mark as non-functional. D. Cover the hose with silicone tape. Answer. C. Cut damaged hose, attach regulator ends, mark as non-functional. What primarily causes air hoses to fail after repeated sterilization? A. Poor coiling technique alone. B. Excessive length making them unmanageable. C. Insufficient airflow during procedures. D. Heat degrading rubber components, leading to leaks. Answer. D. Heat degrading rubber components, leading to leaks. When cleaning an air hose, which practice must be avoided? A. Using abrasive cleaners on the hose liner. B. Wiping the exterior with a mild detergent. C. Keeping fluids out of the hose interior. D. Coiling the hose in 9-12 inch loops. Answer A. Using abrasive cleaners on the hose liner. Why are batteries and chargers important for battery-powered instruments? A. They are not interchangeable and need dedicated storage slash charging. B. They can power any system if the voltage matches. C. They are meant to be immersed for better cleaning. D. They never need regular charging. Answer A. They are not interchangeable and need dedicated storage slash charging. What is the proper method for cleaning battery-powered handpieces? A. Submerge the entire unit in solvent. B. Use the recommended brush and mild detergent while protecting the battery area from water. C. Spray everything with high-pressure steam. D. Clean only the exterior with a dry cloth. Answer. B. Use the recommended brush and mild detergent while protecting the battery area from water. Why use a decontamination battery during cleaning? A. It replaces the need for manual cleaning. B. It doubles the device's power for faster cleaning. C. It allows any battery to fit any handpiece. D. It shields the electrical parts from moisture. Answer. D. It shields the electrical parts from moisture. How is a decontamination battery identified? A. Not labeled at all to prevent confusion. B. Labeled only with the manufacturer's logo. C. Labeled with a red X or similar marking for decontamination use. D. Labeled as sterile for immediate use. Answer. C. Labeled with a red X or similar marking for decontamination use. What is a common source of damage to powered surgical equipment? A. Internal corrosion from fluid invasion during cleaning. B. Excess lubrication on the external casing. C. Overuse of mild detergents. D. Leaving the device uncharged overnight. Answer A. Internal corrosion from fluid invasion during cleaning. How is an endoscope best defined? A. A simple handheld retractor. B. An instrument to view inside a hollow organ or cavity. C. A device to measure blood pressure. D. A tool strictly for open surgeries. Answer. B. An instrument to view inside a hollow organ or cavity. Which technology helps transmit light in endoscopes? A. Fluorescent tubes. B. Incandescent bulbs. C. Solar-powered panels. D. Fiber optics and LEDs. Answer. D. Fiber optics and LEDs. How are rigid endoscopes usually built? A. As single-use disposable instruments. B. With fully flexible shafts. C. Entirely from silicone for bending. D. With rod lenses or a tiny video chip at the tip. Answer. D. With rod lenses or a tiny video chip at the tip. What sets semi-rigid endoscopes apart from rigid ones? A. Single-use design for diagnostics only. B. Complete flexibility in all directions. C. Slight bend in a thin steel shaft without kinking. D. Lack of a working channel. Answer. C. Slight bend in a thin steel shaft without kinking. 
Which endoscope type is used when the path to the surgical site is straight? A. Rigid endoscopes. B. Flexible endoscopes. C. Semi rigid endoscopes. D. Operative endoscopes. Answer A. Rigid endoscopes. What key feature do operative endoscopes have? A. A working channel for surgical instruments. B. Only one lens for diagnostic imaging. C. Single-use disposable parts. D. No capability to transmit images. Answer A. A working channel for surgical instruments. Why must powered instruments be handled carefully? A. They can be immersed in any cleaning solution. B. They require no special care, just standard washing. C. They only operate on disposable batteries. D. They are costly and delicate, damage can affect safety and performance. Answer D. They are costly and delicate, damage can affect safety and performance. Which of the following is a major challenge when processing complex surgical instruments? A. They include delicate components that need special handling. B. They need little cleaning. C. They can be processed like basic instruments. D. They are disposable. Answer A. They include delicate components that need special handling. What is a key concern during the cleaning of powered surgical instruments? A. Fully immersing the instruments in water. B. Using high-pressure jets for deep cleaning. C. Preventing fluid from entering internal components. D. Relying only on manual wiping. Answer, C. Preventing fluid from entering internal components. Which of the following is not one of the three main power sources for powered surgical instruments? A. Compressed gas. B. Electricity. C. Solar power. D. Battery. Answer, C. Solar power. For electrical powered instruments, why connect the power cable to the handpiece during processing? A. It prevents fluid from entering the cable. B. It speeds up disassembly. C. It enables automatic lubrication. D. It reduces manual inspection. Answer A. It prevents fluid from entering the cable. What is one common problem associated with electrical power instrumentation during cleaning and sterilization? A. Fluid invasion causing condensation and damage. B. Overlubrication of surfaces. C. Excessive heat exposure. D. Abrasive cleaning causing discoloration. Answer. A. Fluid invasion causing condensation and damage. Which cleaning method is recommended for the distal tip and lumens of electrical powered instruments? A. Use high pressure water jets. B. Use the manufacturer-specified brush. C. Immerse the device in cleaning solution. D. Wipe with a dry lint-free cloth. Answer. B. Use the manufacturer-specified brush. When processing pneumatic-powered instruments, what is a critical inspection step for the instrument's hose? A. Verify electrical continuity. B. Check for cleanliness and damage, nicks, bubbles, wear. C. Disassemble completely for cleaning. D. Confirm full immersion in saline. Answer. B. Check for cleanliness and damage, nicks, bubbles, wear. To help prevent fluid invasion during processing of pneumatic instruments, what is recommended? A. Submerge the hose in detergent. B. Disconnect the hose before cleaning. C. Connect the hose to the handpiece during cleaning. D. Use only dry cleaning. Answer. C. Connect the hose to the handpiece during cleaning. Why should a chart of operating pressures be available where powered surgical instruments are processed? A. It allows a standard pressure for all instruments. B. It simplifies cleaning. C. Instruments need specific pressures to prevent injury and damage. D. It reduces maintenance. Answer. C. Instruments need specific pressures to prevent injury and damage. 
Which type of powered surgical instrument commonly uses a foot switch for operation? A. Solar powered instruments. B. Pneumatic instruments. C. Battery operated instruments. D. Electrical powered instruments. Answer D. Electrical powered instruments. Following the manufacturer's processing instructions is critical because it helps to I. Prevent damage to instruments with lumens and delicate parts. B. Speed up reprocessing. C. Allow alternative cleaning solutions. D. Simplify assembly. Answer A. Prevent damage to instruments with lumens and delicate parts. What is a major risk when cleaning powered surgical instruments with multiple moving parts? A. Over lubrication. B. Cleaning solution entering the instrument's interior. C. Using an oversized brush. D. Relying solely on automation. Answer B. Cleaning solution entering the instrument's interior. One of the learning objectives for this chapter is to a. Review cleaning for non-powered instruments. B. Describe manufacturing of hand instruments. C. Compare disposable versus reusable devices. D. Explain care and processing of powered surgical instruments. Answer D. Explain care and processing of powered surgical instruments. What is a specific concern when processing endoscopic instruments? A. Their complex design requires detailed cleaning and inspection. B. They need only basic cleaning. C. They can be cleaned like other instruments. D. Processing does not affect infection prevention. Answer A. Their complex design requires detailed cleaning and inspection. Why is it essential to follow the equipment manufacturer's instructions when handling powered surgical instruments? A. To avoid damage and maintain functionality. B. To allow generic cleaning agents. C. To reduce processing time. D. To eliminate routine maintenance. Answer A. To avoid damage and maintain functionality.